good. I do, Captain Bell. It's the Sun and Fun Winter Festival. We should go. Oh, let's head on out. Let's go. Everybody, welcome aboard. We have a special treat today. Captain Valerie picked me up. I was hitchhiking out here at the Venice Airport, and we're going to go up to Lakeland to the Winter Festival flying for Sun and Fun. I'm so glad I saw you. This is going to be a fun time, Steve. -O. You saved me, Captain Valerie. <laughs> I can't believe you were here alone. Let's get this started. You are going to miss it. So you're priming the engine right there with the fuel. Looking left, looking right. Clear left. Both engines started up real nice. Yes. Traffic Arco 050, short final free one, full stop Venice. We are flying the Baron 58TC, turbocharged airplane today. Such a good plane. I'm so glad that you're flying with me today. I know, it's been a while. It's been a while. Always a pleasure getting the back in the uh, cockpit here with Captain Valerie. Yeah, I'm happy to see you. And we're going VFR. Yeah, it's a beautiful day today. Yeah, it's a beautiful day, so we're just going to go. It's only showing about a 33 minute flight up to Lakeland from Venice. It's a short little flight. All right, we'll listen to the AWAS. Venice Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation, two, zero, five, one, Zulu. Wind, three, two, zero, at eight knots. Visibility, seven. Sky condition, clear, below one, two thousand. Temperature, two, one Celsius, dew point, one seven Celsius altimeter three zero zero niner inches of mercury. All right, so we got the uh, AWAS here at Venice. Yeah. So I like to do the run up over there. So we're closer to uh, this area if there's anything. Some nice restaurants in this area. You've been to Sharky's? Yep, Sharky's over there on the beach. Real nice place, actually. If you look out the front window here. You're gonna see Sharky's right across the street out there, right there. Oh right. yeah. There you go. I realized it was close. I'll do the run up right here, heading into the wind, kind of. The wind is good. coming from this way. We'll knock this run up out, and we'll see you guys on the other side of that. There we go, run up is complete. Everything checked out good? Everything and looks good. I guess we'll start our taxi over to only 3-1. And we have been listening to the CTAF and there is quite a few airplanes coming in and out of here right now, training. Boy, look at all the birds out here in front Lots of us. Lots of birds. And here we are coming up on runway five. Clear to the right. Clear to the left. Venice traffic, bearing 187 on your crossing runway 23 on Delta. Venice. Right now, since the winds are coming out of the uh, northwest, Everybody's using runway 3-1, which is appropriate for landing and taking off into the wind. Yeah. And if you take a look down here, I'm actually using the uh, pivot mounting system, the knee board today. Comes in really handy. The iPad snaps on and off real quick and easy. 
You guys use the discount code in the description below to save 15% on any of the pivot bases and mounting systems. I think I have your water. That's my water. Stay hydrated. Stick oh, yeah, you gotta stay hydrated. And today's flight is only 33 minutes, so we are within yeah. coffee time. <laughs> Anytime there's no bathroom on board and the flight is over an hour, you gotta wait till one hour ETE, and that's when you're safe to drink your beverage. Absolutely. And Venice traffic, bearing 18791, holding short, runway 31. Venice. No problem, go ahead and line up and wait whenever uh, this landing traffic lands full. Thank you very much. And Baron, the zero number you'll have to go around let you get out on the runway. Thank you very much. I'm going to wait uh, for you to, uh, so I can uh, safely depart. No. All right, well, that was nice of him. That was really uh, nice of him. Baron Monetary Ma is going to uh, line up and wait on uh, runway 31 for departure of Venice. Thank you, everyone. And right, Quebec, about clear uh, final. seven miles to the northwest, uh, uh, doing a 360. It is busy here today. Everybody's doing touch and goes. Yep. All right. Lights. Lining up here in center line. And where's that guy? Where is he? He's straight he's up over there. there, but I'm we'll not. Still have to wait a now little I'm going to wait until he's turning crosswind. Scramble is up by zero on the river. Juliet is on crosswind for runway 31 Venice. Very good. Bear 187 Ayama is departing runway 31 Venice. All right. Here we go. Lakeland, Florida. And that thing kicks you back. This thing's got some power. Yeah, that's why we have to wait for all these people to to be away, because I can take over anybody here. Yeah. All the gauges on the green, everything is in the green, and we are rolling. And she wants to take off. Have the brakes. Positive rate. Gear up. Pitch for blue line. I'll keep a good eye out for all this traffic around here. And it's traffic, bear 187, now you might depart your leg, uh, three ones. Thanks for your help, guys. No problem. And look at the beautiful view of the Gulf of Mexico right out in front of us here. So we're in 409 at Quebec, turning left downwind, runway 31, about uh, four miles out, uh, 9 at Quebec. Just pulling the prop RPMs back. Yep. So 3624. 36 on the manifold, 24 on the prop RPMs. That's correct. And we're going to climb to 5,500. So we have a safe altitude and away from. Venice traffic, Van 187, five miles uh, north, last call, Venice. Looking good. Looking good. Beautiful view out there. Beautiful day to fly. Yeah, it's nice. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. Wheat. Approach, Van 187, Lima. 187, what? 1879 Lima just departed Venice. I would like to have a VFR flight following if it's possible to Lakeland. 1879 Lima Squad, 0152. 0152, thanks for your help. 1879 Lima. 0152 in the transponder. Report to Juliet, just going to maintain 7. Now he's looking for us on his scope. Yeah, I'd just like to have the extra eyes, you know? Oh, for sure. 79 Lima, ready right contact, what out, 35 and 50. Uh, 5,500, 187. 9 Lima, roger, and 8 is, is uh, Alpha at Lakeland, they're on runway 2-8. 2-8, Alpha, 187, thanks. 7 9 Lima, can you do 4,500? Absolutely, we'll climb to 4,500, 187. And she's climbing, and I'm going to put her on heading, and get her on the autopilot. I must admit, Captain Valerie, the last time I flew in this airplane with you, I don't even recognize this airplane. Isn't it amazing? Can you increase your rate of descent? Yeah, we did quite a bit with Sarasota Avionics. We upgraded our uh, panel here, the IFD. We have the IFD Ava 9 550 and 540. Wow. We have a um, new transponder. With new transponder, transponder and a blind transponder. We have a brand new uh, COM, which is the AMX uh, 240. Oh, uh, yeah? Yep. Altitude. And what's nice is I can still um, isolate the passenger, so if Eric is in the back... Yeah, yeah. You can uh, <laughs> put him into isolation. I can put him in isolation. And we have here the full uh, 2500 Pro Max from Aspen. 
That's which nice. I'm really, really happy about. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, you, they really gave uh, this old bird a nice makeover. Looks good. Tampa Thank you. I'm really happy with it. Thing. All right, so we'll do a little cruise checklist. Fuel pump off. Noticing fuel flow. Fuel pump off. Making sure that everything is good. Okay, One engine at a time, always. Tampa Red Lake. And our cow flaps. Making sure they're closed. And we'll lean. And one engine at a time. And what are you going to lean back to? To about, uh, I'm going to look at my temperature, but usually it brings me to 21. From the fuel flow? Yeah. So 21 gallons per hour. And then you're going to times that by two, since we have two engines. How many horsepower per engine? 325 horsepower per engine. Yeah, it's the RAM conversion. Both uh, are continental engines. Nice. I'm going to do a little prop trick. Uh, look at my phone and making sure that the props are in sync. You can see the two props spinning in the camera and the shutter speed slower than what your eyeballs are. So if you match them up, you know your props are synced. Sounds good, looks Perfect. good, feels good. There you go. Do you see, did you hear the little difference? I did. Oh. All right, so he wants us at 4,500. We're direct lake flat. Uh, I guess we could pick up the Aegis real quick just to yeah. stay ahead of the flight. Hey, hey, good afternoon, Aegis 2500. No practice approaches or VFR touch and go pattern. Upon initial contact advised, you have information alpha. Hey, we have information alpha. We have alpha. alpha. And even though we got the air show coming up, they're using the air field basically as just, just a like a regular normal air field operation. Yeah. We're just going to expect the visual for 2 8. 879 Lima contact came 119.9. 119.9, 187 Mach, thanks for your help. Tempo approach, bear 187 9 Mach, 4500. Baron 1879 Limited Approach, good afternoon, 73010. 3010, 187 Mach. You look out the front window, you might start to see Lakeland come into view here soon. 26 uh, nautical miles, so we'll get our lights on and we'll start our descent soon. About a 10 heading currently. And if you take a look down here at the iPad, this is the airport diagram. We'll be coming uh, into runway 28, most likely getting off at Bravo, we, uh, we or Alpha 3, and we'll be going over right. to T-Shelt there. But yeah, every year, Sun and Fun now, this is the second year in a row where they've done a winter fly-in festival and car show. So that's what we're going to be uh, attending this weekend. Also in April, they have the, the bigger Sun and Fun fly-in event. But this is uh, a lot of fun, too. Yeah, I'm excited. So don't go anywhere at the end of this plate, uh, we'll give you the sights and sounds from the event. And actually, I do have the airport signal. You see it out there? Right out there. Right there. Yes. There you go. And, uh, we have the airport in sight. Tempo approach, bound 18790 mile. We have Lakeland in sight. 18790, but VFR descent at your discretion. VFR descent at our discretion, 1870 mile. You want to start descending? It's up to you, Captain Bell. All right, let's go with this end. I'm just happy you picked me up off the uh, side I'm of the so taxiway. happy I saw you. can't believe you were just right there. I figured I got a hitchhike because I never ride. Cool. I was happy to help you. Thank you. So yeah, we're basically going to be setting up for a midfield left down but, entry for 2-8. Yeah. 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 I'm leaving the Lakeland Airport, 12 o'clock, 10 miles. Got to take Lakeland Tower, 124.5. Good day. 124.5, 187, good day. Day. Lakeland Tower, Bay 187, non early miles, 7 miles uh, southwest of the field, 2,500 uh, inbound on uh, runway 28. We have uh, Alpha. 7 on Lima, I just found out that uh, little uh, show down there at the grass strip done, so you can just enter a left downwind, 28. We'll enter a left downwind, not uh, 28, 187. So that was the stall competition that they had here today. We're going to shelter. The short takeoff and landing competition, that just finished up, so yeah, they're not in our way now, so we'll be able to go right to a left downwind. Perfect timing. And we let them know we're going to be going to Shelter to Park for this weekend. And uh, 
That's the tower right there in front of us, and we'll enter left on wind in a little bit. We have to take a look at the iPad here. There we are. Coming into the area, we're going to be entering a left down one. Coming right on around in to runway 28. I got the extended center lines on the uh, iPad here, so it gives us a good heads up. Right on the front there, you'll see the Lakeland Airport. Alright, go bump on. Now we'll get one flat set of flap. Selected and indicating. Look out the wing out there, because saw the flaps you. coming down. And we're nicely lined up for a left downwind. We're getting in just in time, too, because we're going to have a balloon glow tonight and everything, I believe. Yeah. Perfect uh, left downwind here. And we got our full fuel. And the only thing we're missing is uh, our gear. Baron 79 Lima, runway 28, clear to land. Runway 28, clear to land, 187 Montex. All right, that's always a good uh, call, getting that clear we to land. We like the clear to land. Guys, as soon as I uh, I finish my base right here, I'm going to put my gear down. The anticipation of taking off and the challenge of landing, that's my two favorite parts about flying. Yeah, me too. I cannot pick one, you know? I'm never, I'm never able to pick one. All right, clear right. Parker right. Altitude. 46 Tango, Lakeland Tower, runway 28, cleared for takeoff, right turn to Orlando. Uh, right three turn greens. To Orlando, 46 Tango, cleared for takeoff. And that's a three mile base. Got downtown Lakeland out there in front of us. That's our final, right now, right clear, left clear. Final's right. clear on the right. Red, blue, greens. Three greens. And we got the traffic on departure on the runway. Yep, he was cleared to take off. Altitude. And my husband is telling me that I'm below 1,000 feet, which I know. And I'm going to set up for 105 knots and then land around uh, 90. All right, sounds good. Our turn to final here. You can see the runway oh, out the front. So two whites, two three reds. Good afternoon, Lakeland Tower, 9205 X-ray is departing Plant City 1500, inbound with down for full stop. 39205 X-ray, Lakeland Ground, or Lakeland Tower. Looking good. For a right downwind, runway 28. Right down for runway 28, 9205 X-ray. Our power. Bites to threats. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. I love it here. Runway made. One for uniform, you coming back later? Yes, sir, we'll be back uh, in a couple hours. All right. All right. Welcome to Lakeland, Florida, guys. Archer 46 Tango. I just love it here. Tampa. They're on 119.9er. Good day. Uh, Archer 46. Get off on Alpha 3. Go bombs off. I don't have the reverse thrust like you. Yeah, don't that, have that, to be careful. It's like a cheat. It's actually nice having that reverse reverse thrust. Yeah. But, oh, they're remodeling. Yeah, they're building a whole new FBO right here in front of us. Turn the AC on. My friend Ashley is Seven actually in charge of that. 0.4. Point 0.4, four, one inch, mind. 1.4. All right, we'll clean her up. Lakeland ground, bear 187, 90 mile, Alpha 3 going to shelter. Number 1879 on Lima, looking ground tight, shell therapy, have right turn alpha, left turn Juliet. Right turn alpha, left on Juliet, 187 mile. And we'll get our map out right here, so we have ground it. 381, do you want right turn, left turn? And we have it go. right here on right the Aspen as well. Nice. Turn, echo, 381. Yeah, that's actually going to be the Aero Center, Lakeland. That's that FBO you see out the front window here that they're building. Oh, that's going to be nice. It's actually going to give Shelter a run for their money, but we'll see how it comes out. I think it should be nice to have another FBO here. Yeah. Gonna give more space to everybody. 
So I'm pretty sure of where I'm going. I have this on the Aspen and here on the Avidine. That's so awesome. Awareness. You have to understand, this is all like new for me. So I'm always like so impressed with everything that we're working on. And look at here, this is actually the orange dot right That's the orange dot this. that we uh, usually land in April. During the events, they'll tell you to land on the orange dot. That's right where we're at, right there. But yeah, welcome to Lakeland, Florida, everybody. We hope you enjoyed that flight in the uh, turbocharged Baron. And thanks to Captain Valerie for picking me up on the side of that taxiway. Otherwise, this flight video would not have been possible for me. So You're welcome. I'm Thank glad you so I much. saw you. And like I said, don't go anywhere. We are going to go over and check out the event this weekend. Anyway, we hope you guys are doing good. And uh, let's go enjoy some winter festival flying of Sun and Fun. Mm -hmm.